All right, Tom, thanks. Our top story tonight, Three Mile Island is still shut down. This afternoon, people who live near the nuclear power plant heard a loud noise. They mm -hmm. saw a bunch of steam rise into the air, and then the plant automatically shut down. This is the second time this has happened in the past month, though. It is. CBS 21's Eva Roman is live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Londonderry Township with more on what caused the shutdown. Eva. Robin Tanya, along with that steam came some radiation, a very small, undetectable amount. TMI spokesperson says, quote, there was never any threat to public safety, so no evacuations were needed. Guy McGarrow was mowing the lawn when he heard it. All of a sudden, it'll just, you know, hear a big roar and steam will have been out, and then it just, uh, goes into shutdown. Around 2.20 this afternoon, a spokesperson for Three Mile Island says the nuclear power plant automatically shut down and steam was released into the air, releasing an undetectable amount of radiation. The steam that normally goes to the turbine is released to the atmosphere. Any radiation in that steam is so low that we can't detect it. It reminded Guy of the 1979 TMI accident, only this one didn't force any evacuations. There was no public health risk. And this time, things got a bit noisy. Just big, loud roar <laughs> for a few minutes. The roar was similar to this. <laughs> On August 22nd, TMI automatically shut down after a pump in the turbine building stopped working. Today's problem, operators say, was caused when one of four reactor coolant pumps malfunctioned. The pumps worked to circulate water through the reactor coolant system. Guy says he's used to things like this happening at TMI and trusts in the system they have to keep him and his family safe. I guess it's just a normal occurrence when something goes wrong. It automatically shuts down and, you know, prevents anything from happening. I also talked with a spokesperson for a TMI watchdog group. Eric Epstein says that all these malfunctions at TMI are concerning and they shouldn't be happening, he says. Now, the group called TMI Alert is investigating. Live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Londonderry Township tonight, Eva Roman, CBS 21 News. All right, Eva, thank you. And you can count us, us to have the latest updates on TMI here on the air and online, cbs21.com. Hi everybody, this is Sheila Aliens, and today is September 21st, 2012. So this happened yesterday at Three Mile Island, and instead of trusting the news media and the EPA and all that, if anybody lives there near Three Mile Island and is an experienced Geiger counter owner, if you could take some independent readings, that would be great. I'll even post them on my YouTube channel with your permission or I'll link to them, otherwise it's up to you, but I mean, we obviously need some independent testing to be sure. I really just don't trust the media at this point, so if you or anybody you know is doing independent testing of the ground and the air, whatever it is they do to test for radiation around there, that'd be great, and please leave a comment below to let us know. Alright, thanks for watching. Meow.